So in terms of when to lay a hedge, it's very much a winter activity when there's no leaves on the trees and the sap's not rising and there's no birds breeding. The first thing to do is to free your steeper at the top. If it's all entangled with the other ones, it's much more difficult to work on that after you've started cutting. Lots of people use a bill hook for their hedge laying. Personally, I prefer to use an axe because it's got a shorter blade. And if you're working on very closely grown hazel, as we are here, it's much easier to get the small blade in without damaging the other steepers. The principle of hedge laying is that you're cutting in at the base so that the growth comes from low down in the hedge. You don't have to start off where you want the hinge to be. You can start off higher up and then split it down. Now, at this stage, I don't worry about the fact that this is all looking horrible and split. The important thing is to see that the split is starting to open up and going downwards, which it is. With a little bit of pressure with my left hand, the split starts to open up, and then you can run the axe down the split until you get to the right height. So the split has gone all the way down and the hinge makes it bend at just the right level. People are often concerned that there's not much wood left for the plant to survive through it. And what a lot of hedge layers will say is you need to leave the bark and a little bit of wood thick enough to stay alive, but thin enough so that it doesn't crack. Now we've got a, a heel left behind, so that's the heel. So it wants to be cut at an angle to drip water away from the open cut, nice and neatly so that the regrowth comes from just below the heel. What I've done so far is the splits have all gone down towards the roots. If the split starts and goes upwards, you end up with what's referred to as a hake's mouth, which I will just demonstrate. You can see how the hinge is too thick to bend easily. And you can see the split has gone upwards rather than downwards. And it's referred to as a hake's mouth because a hake is a type of fish that has a really ugly mouth that looks a bit like that. So if you get to that stage, the rule is to cut the hake's mouth off so that I can get to the hinge underneath. If you thin the hinge there, you can see how the whole thing is now the right thickness and it'll bend down beautifully. People often ask me which direction should I lay a hedge and it's important to lay uphill so that in the spring when the sap rises it goes up the steepers. If you lay downhill you get much less good regrowth.